highlight an inspiring story that started with one man and ended with eight people in states across the nation lining up to get results and save lives. News 6 anchor Kirsten O'Connor takes us through the cross-country paired transplant exchange that is inspiring more people to consider becoming living donors. Sitting next to the officer willing to save his life and the stranger who ended up being his match, Seminole County Deputy Blaine Badura says he finally feels like himself again. Yeah, it's a miracle. Last year, doctors told Badura he could be waiting four to six years for a kidney transplant. So he rallied community support and set up a GoFundMe account that caught the attention of Oviedo police officer Bobby Drawn. About a month later, I saw him on the road in the middle of the night and he looked totally different. Um, he looked very sick, and at that point I kind of realized maybe this is something I could look into. But the two did not match. An obstacle Lauren Gow of Winter Springs and her mother Leslie had been battling for decades. Both for um, my mom uh, needed a match that was hard to find because she's the same blood type as me, be negative. Even with the same blood type, antibodies prevented the mother and daughter from matching. Determined to get results, both pairs signed up for the Paired Kidney Exchange Program, and the chain began. As soon as she put me in the computer that day, there was a match. The program lines up pairs of donors and recipients who are missing that matching link, coupling a Midwest donor with Lauren's mom, Lauren's kidney to Deputy Badura, and Officer Drawn's kidney to a patient on the West Coast. It is rare to have all the logistics work with all the right things, all the pieces fall together at the same time. Out of 118,000 people on the United Network for Organ Sharing list, 5,000 were possible because of living donors. Results transplant surgeons hope will grow. Hope. That's what Paired Exchange gave us, hope. It's one of those things that it, in print it just doesn't quite get across, but when you actually see the stories live and in person and you touch those stories, that's the best way. And what makes this story even more incredible is the chain does not have to stop there. There's still a ninth donor on the West Coast that's waiting to be matched. If that happens, it would bring the total number of participants to 10 and could continue on from there. Reporting in Orlando, Kirsten O'Connor, News 6. And that would be amazing. Yeah. The officer you just heard from tells us he really had planned to stay anonymous, but hopes that this will inspire more people to have hope that they, too, can find a match. I'm glad he came forward because it will inspire so many more people. It started the whole chain reaction. Unbelievable. Thing. Awesome. Well, tonight